I'm working on a template here for the router. I've got a 20 inch radius here. I measured out 20 and a half, I guess, from the end. Uh, so I'd have a little to shave. And I'm just getting ready to poke quarter inch holes uh, right here at the intersection of those two for a little bolt. So we can jig this up and make a sweet radius. <laughs> Keeping hands and feet clear. There we go, nice 20 inch radius with a little nick out of the corner, that's okay. This is well oversized. So we'll do the 12 or Try to show this one a little more proper. So what I'm gonna do is drill in here first. Right to the old line there. Then we'll clamp up. Now we drop the bit. There it goes. Get everything out of our path. Raise the bit back up. And lock her in place. And that should get us going. Got a couple blocks here. Uh, here uh, I cut these off and did a bunch of measurements. So this is my 20, this is my 12 inch radius. And uh, hang on, I did a little prototype here. What I need is a, a clamp uh, to be able to clamp these guys to the guitar. And so I need to cut a little window in there to get my C clamp in there. So you can see a uh, little window there. So we're gonna route the window in here. I've got little marks on the sides so I know how far left and right. And we're going to do this in three or four passes here. Each piece. inch down there we got it clamped on we've got the 20 inch down here you can see this little notch but I think we're well outside so for everybody following along at home uh, the idea is that I'm going to use this router and I'll clear this fence out of here and I may wind up having to do I don't I don't know what to make all this contraption work but the idea is that you can rock this guy back and forth over the router bit and kind of snake it along you know so uh, I'm still not sure if I got enough room here and there and all everywhere to make it happen but I will bring you guys back later for that we we're gonna kind of run through it and I've got my miter gauge I don't know can you guys see that in this far side just in case I slip into that crack I hope I don't but there's a just in case so the idea again is that my two two little deals ride on the table and I have my router bit here which I'm gonna lower just uh, so I can show you guys what's up actually we're gonna take this in more than one stroke and the last the last height that the router bit will be will be the one that touches right in the center of the fretboard. So the first few passes will be just clearing off edges little by little. And I have left all the excess. I've got a little bit over a quarter inch on either side. So if there is any tear out, it'll be out here where you know this is going to get cut off uh, somewhere on that line right there. I think that's, that is my line right there. So hopefully all the tear out will happen outside of the finished fretboard. So the idea is I can rock this thing 
over the top of the router bit and we go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and uh, there's kind of the end so I'm on the diagonal and then I'm going to get out to here somewhere and uh, we'll have to flip in for end and sort of do the same dance over again and I can hit the stops on both sides so that's all good so next thing is just turn it on and giving it hell I have adjusted this height here to be just nicking uh, this guy and I'm on my the 12 inch radius end because that's going to be the deeper cut <laughs> I have no idea how this is going to come out wish me luck <clears throat> taking a quick peek in progress so this is just kind of roughed and uh, this down here uh, you know I kind of went this way but then I finished it by going long ways down and it really smoothed it out nice so that's the last step I'm gonna do here and then we'll get to sanding focus so you can kind of see the linear nature but uh, if you take a look at the far radius and then the near radius this one's almost flat and then you can see it kind of bevels a little bit more as it gets this way I don't know sorry that's kind of awkward with the camera there but uh, you can see it in real life <laughs> really really well. Mm -hmm. 